What's up, guys? It's Summer Relic the Godslayer. I'm a Relic Gamer. We are here in Destiny 2 for the final uh, little casual build I have for my Titan this time. Uh, this is going to be, again, something that I like to roll with. I am a casual player at best, so don't take this as, as any, you know, must-have build or anything like that. But this is what I like rolling with right now, currently in the Witch Queen. Um... Let's get into this. Uh, basically, of course, we wanna, we're trying to do it around the new Void 3.0, so I'm going to always make the build towards that in terms of that because, you know, that's the newest stuff. Uh, we had our stasis builds last time, so it's time to give Void a good old try. Uh, of course, I'm doing my tower, strafe lift. I had a... Before, I was using a different lift than this, and I wasn't... It was, like, really, really difficult... Especially when I, because I play Hunter mainly, it's like going to Titan's um, jumping ability, or should I say, yeah, jumping ability is like, it's always jarring, but I think I've gotten, I've gotten straight lift better, uh, down better than anything else. Shield throw, which is going to be very, 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 very important. Uh, shield bash is pretty cool with suppressing, but uh, shield throw is, is something I'm, I'm really going to love. You're going to, uh, you're gonna get what I'm trying to do here. It's gonna be more of like a uh, what's it, uh, like a Captain America thing going on here. I got with this shield. Um, using Void Wall, controlled demolition, of course, for hitting a target with a void ability or a volatile explosion makes them volatile. Um, then, of course, having an overshield when I'm inside my ward done or my grenade and my grenade uh, charges significantly faster. I have a, well, while I have an overshield, my grenade will charge significantly faster, and I'll have a melee range uh, boost and damage boost. And of course, your melee final blows extend the duration of that uh, overshield. So we're gonna be trying to get that a lot, uh, get that back as well using the shield throw. Um, we're gonna be having, of course, echo of expulsion, echo of exchange, of course, uh, picking up an. Overpower will grant me Devour, of course. And, of course, um, Void buffs apply to you. Invisible, Overshield, and Devour have increased, have increased duration. And, of course, I want that for my Overshield, mainly. We're going to be using, of course, Monte Carlo. Because I'm a Titan. Monte Carlo is literally like an auto rifle. It's literally, it's literally an exotic that had Titans in mind when it was built. You can tell it was. Snorri, FR5, with, the, of course, um, Reservoir Burst, but also that stats, uh, stats for alls will be nice. Hitting three different targets increases the handling stability, reload, and range. And, of course, a good Palmyra with Lasting Impression. And, of course, I got to level that one, too, so that's going to be good. I'm saying, I'm saying, of course, a lot. Because you already probably know this already. Um, when it comes to the... Mods, I'm using this one for getting my super energy back really quickly through my melee kills. Of course, that. We're going to be using elemental charge, of course, to become charged with light. I think I'm going to change this. Because I thought I had, I thought I had a, um, I might need. I can't do that. Yeah, I had a hand cannon on me for whenever I needed to do that. But um, yeah, that mainly what I would do is I would keep this on so that when I have a hand, and I would have a hand cannon. So whenever one of these was necessary for in terms of like a over uh, an unstoppable champion, I would just switch from this to the hand cannon and do that. Of course, uh, auto 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 rifle loader on that one. Main thing on here is going to be this, of course, just for the the loosened hive when they get to transforming and doing all their crazy supers, and a, and a melee well baker, so that when I throw that that disc, you're going to see wells pop from that, which is going to give me, of course, my elemental charge, which is going to bounce to my charge with light, high energy fire for the gun, and of course, having my Getting that back. I want to get that back a lot. Because I'm going to be using my barricade sometimes for no reason. 
And it's going to literally be, be because I'm trying to play around the exotic, which is why I'm using, I'm, I'm going to show it last. Uh, Picking up Void Elemental Wells, give me Volatile Rounds. It's going to be good for the, of course, for the Snorri. And I've got Picking up Orbs, give me back my Melee. I want that. Now for the... I'm using the Heart of Inmost Light. Some people would say, well, this is just a cop-out because Heart of Inmost Light is just, you know, all it basically does is when you use one ability, it makes the other abilities stronger and it makes them recharge faster. Um, stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's the idea is I'm, going, I'm trying to supplement a lot of different Void abilities. So that's, you know... A lot of my void abilities supplement into like overshields and devour and all this other stuff. So it's like I want to make sure I can do my abilities very often. So that just works well, especially when it works well alongside Monte Carlo because of the fact that dealing damage, not just killing, but dealing damage, each bullet with this weapon reduces my melee cooldown. And each time I kill with this weapon, I have a chance to immediately get my melee back regardless. So let's take it out for a spin, shall we? And of course we're gonna do the offensive for this season. And so the goal is gonna be to, to somewhat spam just somewhat spam my my abilities so that I can keep my uh, so I can keep my exotic perk running as well as of course keeping uh my melee going keep keeping it being used to keep my overshield and while I have overshield I'm getting, you know, grenade energy back. The idea is just to, to just have that stuff rolling in like a mouse wheel con kind of thing where it's just constantly rotating in and out. And letting Volatile be the... Letting Volatile be the main carrier of... of my AoE clear. AoE damage clearing. So you'll be seeing a lot of Captain America. No shield throw. Stars and stripes. It's gonna be a lot of shield throw. All right, let's do this. Wellspring belongs to Hive. Quite Got back my. Are about to have back my abilities. Yep, there you go. My reservoir burn. Shield bro. Grab this. Oh, okay, never mind. Come on. What are you? Oh, 
he having fun back there. <laughs> Side. Nope. Okay. You taking care of that? He's having a good old time over there. Oh my! All right, let's do this. Go up in here. Shield throw. Drop that down. Oh. Got that back immediately. That devour. Oh, it didn't pop. Oh, it's because I had super. Why? I had super.
brute shields are weakened. Let's get them. Very And when it comes to uh, this ability, uh, so I said this little build I got, I'm not really relying on my super a lot like I would be with my uh, hunter. This is just more, you know, good, consistent ability spam. Trying to make as much uh, use of volatile as possible in that sense. But thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the build video. Like I said, it's just my casual build here. It's nothing insane. But I like to kind of show what I'm working with throughout my throughout uh, the seasons and uh, different expansions. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm really, guys, I'm really gaming. We out.